Hey there, Chargers. We hope you had a great weekend. She's Sophia Prothero. And she's Alyssa Argenbright. And, and you're, you're watching, watching DP News. News. Junior State of America is hosting a fundraiser in Chipotle this Saturday, September 24th, to help raise money for students' scholarships for conventions. Please come, buy some food, and support the club. You say Chipotle. I say Chipotle. Hey! Anyway, freshmen interested in being involved in our school and student leadership should consider running for a class office. Offices that are available are president, vice president, secretary, treasurer, and historian. More information available outside of Mrs. Irwin's office. We also need officers for a sophomore treasurer and historian. Information can also be found outside of Mrs. Irwin's office. At the 2016 Rio Olympics, we had three DP alumni competing. We got to sit down with two of them. Here's the interview from a week ago. Hey DP, it's Nico here. I'm here with... Sammy Hill. And Nicholas Carvelis. So we're just going to be talking to them a little bit and getting some juice out of uh, Rio and just see what, what they thought about school. So I compete for Greece, I don't compete for the United States. So I was with the Greek team most of the time, and I don't speak Greek, so I was a lot of time doing sign language. And uh, the, Greek, and the, the Greek team had, had a great time, competition was amazing, uh, and Rio was wonderful, and I just got to hang out a bunch with uh, my, my Greek national team partners, which was a great time. Um, I had a blast, I competed for Team USA, um, and just being in the village, surrounded by all the athletes was one of my favorite parts. And um, Rio was very colorful. A lot of people were dancing a lot. Um, the volunteers were amazing. So overall, the experience was incredible. It was awesome. My favorite memory from, from being at Dos Pueblos Charger was I was on the track team and in the jazz band, actually, at the same time. And there was a competition that we had uh, in the middle of track season uh, that I had to go to. It was county championship. So... I, I, and it was, happened to be on the same day, actually, as a big jazz band competition up in Reno, Nevada. So I decided I wanted to do both. So I went and competed at, uh, at the Santa Barbara County Championships, which is what it was. And I broke the records in the shot put in discus. And I got on a plane, and I flew to Reno. And our jazz band won uh, Best Jazz Band, or whatever the exact award was, at that big competition. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that was probably my, my, my favorite moment. I had a, had a great time. Do you remember... Um, somebody telling me that I made homecoming court and I like blew my mind because I was not popular in any sort of way. And so... <laughs> well, okay, it's all relative. I know, but really, I just was so surprised. But okay. I had to miss all of the activities that homecoming court does. You know, like all the... All like the pie eating and then... Yeah, I had to miss all of it because I had water polo. Yeah. But you got to stand there at the football game. I did. You got recognized crazy. as one of the prettiest popularist people at, at high school. Thank you so much for coming and talking to us. Uh, I hope both of you have success in your sports and whatever you do past your sports. So thank you guys for coming out. Right on. Thank, thank you. you so much. That's great, Nico. The CSU College Fair is Wednesday, September 28th in Pasadena. At this event, you are able to access all 23 California State Universities at the same time. Visit the DP website to learn more. Washington University of St. Louis is coming today from 9.04 to 9.34 in the library. Vanderbilt University is visiting today from 1.15 to 1.45, and Columbia University will be here from 9.14 to 10.44. These will both be at the Career Center. <laughs> we have more colleges coming tomorrow. USC, Claremont McKenna College, and University of Redlands <laughs> will be here either in the library or the Career Center. Stop by the Career Center today to learn more. CalSOAP is hosting a personal statement workshop on September 22nd at SB Junior High, the Globe Theater from 4 to 6 p.m. This targets juniors and seniors, but sophomores and freshmen are also invited. Please sign up at the Career Center by the end of today. The annual Boo at the Zoo is coming up. Make sure to apply on the SB Zoo's website to have the best chance of getting the character you want to dress up as for the event or being on Boo Crew. This is a great way to earn community service hours. I know I'll be there. That's it for us today, Chargers. I'm Sophia. And I'm Alyssa. Now we're over to Caleb with a sports report.
Good morning, Chargers. It's Caleb Severson here with your sports report. Football took on Camarillo Friday night and came away with a 23-14 win. Offensively, Kellen Roberts led the way with three touchdown passes. Junior Michael Elbert had a 47-yard touchdown reception in the second quarter. Junior Cyrus Seawall Wallace had a six-yard score in the third quarter. And senior Blake Irwin had a 27-yard touchdown catch in the fourth quarter. The Charger defense, led by Marcellus Gossett, held the Scorpions to 21 rushing yards on 31 attempts. Gossett racked up nine tackles, four sacks, and two quarterback hurries. Justin Padilla added six tackles, and my boy Eric Nisage added five. Football has a home game against San Luis Obispo on Friday, so make sure to come out and support on senior night and stay rowdy. Also come and celebrate the, at the post-game party in the cafeteria. Last Tuesday, girls volleyball had a huge home win against SM to open up league play. DP's middle attackers Ali Mitzner and Danielle LaGrange combined for 30 kills. The young Chargers gained confidence as the match wore on and setters Jackie Holmes and Grace Crozier utilized them to their advantage. Danica Minich was a workhorse for DP, putting away 16 kills and a recording a whopping 37 digs. Lauren Bowie had 10 kills and 29 digs. The girls are back in action tomorrow at home against Ventura. As always, I'm Caleb and we are DP. Now over to Sky and Lindsay with your weather report. Hey DP, I'm Sky with your weather report. And I'm Lindsay with your surf report and joke of the day. Hey Sky, crazy weather, crazy fog today, huh? Yeah, I tried to take a picture of it, but I missed. Ha! Ah. Today's temperatures will be a high of 82 degrees and a low of 62 degrees with a humidity of 100 degrees. Tomorrow's temperatures will be a high of 79 degrees and a low of 61 degrees with a humidity of 69. The surf today will be an extremely high of 5.9 and 12 feet today and a low of 0.3 feet. And tomorrow's surf will have a high of 5.8 and a low of 0.04. I know I'll be at the beach, so shred the gnar, my friends. Have, have a, a rad day! day. <laughs>